here with Smith Sports Cards, one of the dealers at the shows that is super knowledgeable about fakes. He's going to show you today a dual autograph of Magic and Shaq that are often at card shows in fakes. I haven't covered it yet on the spotting fakes, but I plan on doing it in the future. Hey everyone, my name is Paul. Uh, I've talked to Ryan quite a bit about fakes. I'm very impressed with his knowledge and we always uh, bounce ideas off of each other. One of the cards he hasn't covered yet, one of my favorites that comes up quite often is the 2000-2001 Bowman's Best franchise favorites duel of Shaq and Magic. This does not seem like a card most people would think that counterfeiters out there would have targeted, but they did. Just like the fake autos that you see of Kobe Bryant and uh, and a lot of these other ones that have popped up, Willie Mays, etc. Um, the Shaq Magics were basically duplicated. The counterfeiters just remade the cards entirely. And the fake ones, just like a lot of the other fakes, they're on really wrong card stock. If you look close at the cards, you can usually tell, just like a fake Jordan, once you learn, you can tell to look at the card stock and the print quality. These are the same. The shininess of the chrome is wrong. The autographs are, of course, forged, so they're wrong. But if you just look at the card itself, you can usually tell the surface is wrong, the purples are wrong, the back is wrong, the cut is wrong, the edges are wrong, because it's somebody's fake card made on not correct card stock. Basically, I tell people it's a homemade counterfeit. It. Somebody made it, cut them, made them, and then forged the signatures. So, um, one of the cards I learned the most about was this one because they were so common about five to six years ago. And that's when we first started to see the Kobe's, the Sandy Koufax, the Nolan Ryan's, the sh these cards here, um, and a lot of the other fakes that we see now. So, I like to keep one of these on me, an authentic one, because I run into these at shows quite a bit. And it's very easy once you can show people the differences, because a lot of times people won't believe you that the card that they're holding is fake, because they flip it over and they say, oh, it's got the top sticker, or oh, it's got a real autograph. But they don't realize the entire card is counterfeit from the ground up. It's remade from the beginning, you know, and then forged signatures, it's a fake card. So a lot of times it's hard to convince somebody at a show, and I know Ryan runs into this as well. He can be 100% sure it's fake, but if somebody doesn't believe you uh, because they think it's real just because it has a sticker or because it has the Upper Deck logo on the back, it's fake. So um, having a real one makes it a lot easier for me to uh, convince people that what I'm telling them is true.